Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for April 29th, 2020. Well, I hope this video finds you all happy, healthy, and ready to rock and roll for the day. We had yesterday, um, if you remember, I kind of was issuing up a little bit of caution to be careful about chasing the morning gap that we might find profit takers, and that is what happened and we challenged some resistance levels yesterday but kind of slipped back below those resistance levels as that little bit of profit taking came in after the big morning gap so what does that mean for today well how about we settle in let's get ready for the wednesday edition of the morning market prep video and see how we want to approach the market for today so this morning we're looking at a market that's once again trying to gap up we can't seem to um, in any way shape or form hold the the bulls back they just want to drive higher there's absolutely nothing that seems to get in their way in wanting to do that and this morning um, we have the same situation so right now as i started recording this Dow futures are pointing to about a 150 point gap up this morning Yesterday, as you can see, we bumped up here and we challenged some price resistance of, of this recent consolidation area where we've, and that's actually a very wide range consolidation area, left behind a little bit of a dark cloud cover candle. Um, but, you know, we're responding to earnings reports and uh, an awful lot of hope, I guess, out there um, um, about the country reopening and trying to get restarted. However, there's some major concerns from companies about trying to rest restart. Will people show up? How will they handle the new normal with social distancing and, and um, testing employees every day? And what kind of liabilities do they face? So lots of questions out there on what the new normal is going to look like. But the market is continuing to respond higher and higher and higher. Even though we're facing some pretty resistance, uh, pretty strong resistance levels in the chart, the bulls want to continue to push higher. So as you can see here, we're still holding in a beautiful upside trend. No reason to believe that we can't continue to hold that. And although we do appear to be a bit extended in the market, there seems to be nothing to slow down uh, the bulls. And right now they're just um, pushing for a good morning open. If we look at some of the technicals, once again, we're, we have some good signs here in some of the technicals. We broke above that 50 day moving average and we are holding it. One thing does concern me though is we haven't really had much time for the market to settle in and as you can see that 50 day moving average is continuing to drop pretty substantially. So if we do happen to see some sellers and cross back down through that 50 day moving average could create a bit of a bearish situation in the market that we'll wanna watch for and could really bring in some sellers. So just keep your eyes on the prize here um, in the market and stay focused on price action. Try not to just trade your bias. And like yesterday, a morning gap up into price resistance, we, we, we wanna be careful with that for that chance that we could just smack right into that resistance and see more profit takers coming in. So be careful getting caught up let's take a look at the spy spy also in a bullish situation trend remains very strong bulls are definitely in control broke above that 50-day moving average we slammed into some price resistance found some sellers and left behind almost a bearish engulfing candle but we're going to call that a dark cloud cover which really does suggest um, more pressure to the downside but once again futures are pointing us to a gap up open to retest these resistance resistance levels in the chart, whether we have enough energy in these earnings reports or economic reports today to continue to move us higher, that's yet to be seen. A lot of hope is also being um, um, centered around what FOMC may do. We'll have to wait for that later this afternoon. But right now, 
Bulls are in control. They are above our 50-day moving average, as you can see. Any pullback into that 50-day moving average that holds a support. And by, if buyers step back up in here supporting that level, we have a bullish market condition uh, to continue. Let's take a look at the Qs. Qs has, has been the strongest index by far, but yesterday left behind the most disappointing pattern of all the major indexes, leaving behind a bearish engulfing pattern and honestly, a double top high possibility here in the chart. We were pushing against this resistance in the chart we mentioned yesterday, and boy, that gap up open yesterday found nothing but sellers in the NASDAQ, leaving behind a pretty dim technical pattern here and a bearish look in the market but look what's happening this morning we are once again gapping up right now we're indicated to open up in here trying to take back that move so let's watch carefully maybe we'll have enough inspiration and in earnings and economic reports to continue this bullish move back up but I will caution you with such an ugly pattern here I'd be really really careful about getting overexcited about jumping into this market first thing in the morning let's wait and see if profit takers happen to show up after that gap up open let's take a look at IWM IWM uh, whoops there we go IWM had a good day yesterday popping up above its 50-day moving average for the first time and confirming a hold above the 2018 lows. That is a nice sign to see, and we're starting to lift the IWM with the rest of the markets. But overall, kind of a disappointing day selling off after that gap up. We did hold that 50. The 50 is continuing to drop, and this morning we have a gap up open um, also pushing here in IWM. So keep a close eye on that. If we can hold those 50 day levels as support, if we can hold this price level in here as support, then that is a good bullish sign that um, we can continue, uh, possibly continue this move right on higher. Let's take a look at the VIX. VIX, although we had that um, gap up open yesterday, we had a little bit of a issue as we found some profit takers in here and we saw just a little teeny tiny um, amount of fear starting to creep back into the market right here. But I got to tell you, I don't see that as as um, any kind of a major warning sign that more sellers are coming or anything like that. We did test this level of um, support. We failed through that level of support. And now we're just getting this little teeny tiny um, bounce. This morning gap up is likely going to continue uh, to show this as sliding south. So right now, pretty good shape here on the VIX. Option prices are starting to come in a little bit making those bid-ask spreads um, a little bit more reasonable as those op option prices uh, pull back. Let's take a look at uh, T2122, and this is where my biggest concern comes in. T2122 on the daily, we are nearly pegged up here at 100. We, uh, we have pushed this rally to an extreme level. And here we are trying to gap up further this morning. That doesn't mean that we can't stay up here, but I got to tell you, that does give me a little bit of pause. And, and one of the reasons yesterday why I was calling for the possibility to be careful at the open, we could see profit takers as soon as the market opened. And that's exactly what happened. Same thing really holds true today. We are pushing the upper reaches of this move um, up here. So be really careful chasing into the morning gap and getting caught up in the excitement of the morning uh, just in case we do run into more profit takers or if those sellers uh, begin to take over so watch that close let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar does have an interesting thing on here that could move us around we'll want to keep an eye on this and that is whoops 
picked up that other window apologize um, as you can see we have a GDP number this morning and that's gonna be pretty important right now the consensus for the GDP is it's actually going to hit a substantial negative number today in that consensus if we look at the econo day consensus which you know can be different than other consensus numbers they're looking at a negative 3.7 consensus uh, for the GDP so a contraction in the GDP notice that the prior was 2.1 um, and our lower side of the consensus says as much as a negative 7 um, that would be tremendous if we fall down into that area so that's going to be coming out here before the market opens we're going to want to keep an eye on that pretty closely um, this morning we also have pending home sales the petroleum status number which obviously has been a major concern for the market and oil prices we'll want to watch that at 10 30 a.m this morning and then FOMC we're going to get the FOMC announcement at 2 p.m. they're largely expected not to do anything with interest rates but the market is kind of hoping we can get some clarity to um, these new operations um, unprecedented operations what the extent of them are how long they're going to run how long they might hold interest rates low and of course we'll get the fed presser here um, right after that which can also create some volatility in, in the market so watch these time periods in here for a big injection of volatility so with that let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for potential trades but before we do if you guys could do me a favor if you find these videos to be helpful if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos and um, if you could also do me a favor and if you find these videos to be helpful then maybe um, click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. I truly appreciate it. Now, I apologize yesterday. I didn't get a chance to answer any of those comments. I had a big day of webinars and things that I had to do, but I will uh, be back on the back on the task of answering those today. So um, everyone have um, uh, thank you so much that leaves um, those comments. It, I truly, truly appreciate it. It helps us continue to grow. So with that, you know, I've I forgot to mention the earnings reports today. We have over 300 companies reporting earnings, and we have a big day of earnings that you may want to pay attention to. I'm not going to list everything that is really a notable because there is so many, um, but Aflac will be reporting today. We have um, Archer Daniels Midland reporting today looks like that's trying to gap slightly higher this morning we have boeing reporting this morning here again boeing looks like it's trying to indicate slightly higher <laughs> truly amazing with what's going on here uh, the capacity for the market to just ignore anything bad and and buy up this market um, we have uh, ccl Carnival Cruise will be reporting today. Looks like they're moving higher as well um, as that industry just continues to get um, beat up hard um, in the market. We have a um, some big techs today as well. We have Facebook reporting this afternoon. Looks like Facebook's trying to gap substantially higher this morning after two days of pullback. We have General Dynamics, GD. Um, reporting looks like they're moving a little bit lower we've got GE reporting they're moving a little bit lower uh, stocks like Hasbro um, reporting um, ugly sales uh, they're moving a little bit lower this morning Microsoft this afternoon will be a really big tech report to keep an eye on uh, could move around quite a bit also Qualcomm another tech will be reporting um, later today that you might want to watch we're also going to hear from Spotify we're going to hear from Tesla oh Spotify uh, gapping up nicely this morning uh, we're going to hear from Tesla uh, today so one to watch and also some um, oil sector areas like rig and uh, Valero um, energy 
will be reporting uh, today. So let's keep an eye on these stocks. They could move us around quite a little bit um, as those reports continue to come out. Stocks that you might want to be looking at, taking a, a close um, eye on. You guys know that I've been trading this, um, uh, excuse me, XLE and uh, making some really nice money here on XLE. I first started buying um, over in here and I continue to add to that trade as possible and um, looks like energy is gapping up once again this morning um, just expecting that energy to rebound uh, back higher and we're moving on up here nicely so keep an eye on XLE now I've got a line here this this doesn't indicate anything I've got a covered call situation uh, working here and I'm actually short to 40 strike calls um, on this position but what I'm looking for is I'm just looking for this to kind of come halfway back back up um, and I'm planning to hold this for a while but just looking for this to rally about halfway back up um, and I'm not asking for it to do much more than that is just kind of give us a little bit of a bounce back here it's looking really good so far like the chart another place you might want to look take a look at Kroger now Kroger has been bouncing around in here in a consolidation range and obviously we're going to continue to need our grocery stores um, and these are likely to report pretty well but we've been bouncing around in here a little bit pulled back yesterday looking to gap up a little bit this morning if it can hold in this range we want to look for that opportunity for this to pop and maybe move on higher um, keep a close eye on it I've been watching stocks like STZ constellation brands you can see I've got an alert here on this chart I really didn't like how much this pulled back broke this little level of support in here uh, but is has rallied back so now that we've come back up into this area any hold any proof that we can hang on in here might be an opportunity to pick up some um, some of that move in there take a look at like CVS CVS broke through um, my alert here held support in this area popped through kind of an ugly candle yesterday but once again we're gapping up a bit this morning what I'd like to see here in CVS is this to just kind of drift in here a little bit give us a little drift sideways pick up this trend in here and I want to be watching for a buy signal um, if that drifts over toward that trend for that opportunity in the trade other places to look lots of things going on right now in some of these casino stocks um, when um, popped up yesterday looking really good had a little bit of pullback but we're holding nicely in these trends so let these rest or pull back in here pull back into this trend and see if there's an opportunity for those to pop on higher right now it just doesn't seem to matter what the earnings reports are we're just ignoring them um, they we're reporting just horrific numbers and we're, we're reporting um, negative negative earnings growth but nobody seems to care the bulls just want Want to push the market higher so keep an eye on those um, this morning um, or oh, and for the next several days these could start turning back around turning back up also keep an eye on some of the big oil um, areas Exxon Mobil looking beautiful in here holding into a trend testing some price resistance levels watch for that opportunity for this to pop out CVX um, is another that's looking uh, pretty darn strong here holding up in a nice trend as you can see holding in this little um, a resistance area watch for an opportunity for that to pop out so lots of potential stocks that could be out there setting up and looking pretty good and actually more than you could possibly trade so I recommend you place alerts on those charts pick it be very picky and choosy about the trades that you take but watch them closely also seeing stocks in the financial sector starting to perk up a little bit um, in places take a look at like uh, Morgan Stanley we popped up here yesterday got a little bit of a pullback so you may want to look into that financial sector uh, Morgan Stanley Citibank BAC um, or even something like XLF and pick up an entire sector um, if this can hold in this trend we, we um, 
it's popped into some resistance right here, obviously. But if this pulls back or consolidates over toward this trend, let's watch for an opportunity here if it can hold up. So good charts out there, a lot of things that could be setting up. We're gonna to have to be a little bit cautious and careful as we're pushing these resistance levels. And we do seem to be considerably extended here in the market. Um, so the possibility of some profit taking still exists. We'll want to stay on top of our game as these numbers roll out today, and particularly the GDP and, and the pending home sales, things like that could really move us around. Remember tomorrow, guys, we get more employment data. That's going to be, um, or jobless claim data, that's going to be interesting um, if those numbers continue to zoom higher, adding to the 26 million that are already unemployed here in the country. So everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great success in your trading. We'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Have a great one, everyone.